everyone and welcome to the BEHS Sick News. I hope you had a sick weekend. I'm Jason Anderson. And I'm Ace Ventura. Today is Monday, October 22nd. Now to the weather. Here's the weather coming at you. So for today's weather, the high is 59 and the low is 41. Monday and Tuesday are going to be cold, but they're going to be dry, so that's good. Wednesday through Friday, there is a chance of rain. So keep your rain jackets on standby for the possible rain. That's all for your weather, now for your lunchtime meetings. Now for your lunchtime meetings, early hall this week is South Hall. Today there will be a prom committee meeting, tomorrow FCA Bible study, and band officers will be meeting. Wednesday is an FBLA meeting, Thursday is color guard, and Friday, finally back on schedule, FCA will be meeting. So if you're part of any of those clubs, make sure to mark those days down. Now for your current school announcements. For your current school announcements, if you are planning to ride the pep bus to the Volleyball District games tomorrow, don't forget to sign up at the office door by noon today. The bus will leave at school at 3.30 and you will need to make sure to bring money. $5 co is the cover for admission as well as any money for food or drink. Also make sure your ride is ready when you come back to school. The first game will begin at 5. And so. then maybe 7. Probably 7 because we're going to crush them. So come out and support your Lady Bulldogs. Yeah! Girls playing basketball, today is your day, the day you have all been waiting for. Your preseason conditioning begins today. You guys are going to have a blast. Those who are playing volleyball and running cross country are exempt because they're currently doing volleyball and cross country, so they won't be able to do that. Preseason practice will begin today, Wednesday and Thursday this week at school until 4.30. Seniors make plans to attend the FAFSA Frenzy Night this week on Thursday here at Blue Eye High School. What is FAFSA, you ask? It's the free application for federal student aid. In other words, it's money. Free money. The 2019 guidelines for the student financial aid have changed, so make sure you are informed and in attendance. The event will be held from 6 to 7.30 in Ms. McDonald's classroom, so if you're interested in that, make sure to... Uh, Stay tuned for more of that, and if you have any questions about the FAFSA night, make sure to see Ms. Hobbs or Ms. Coy. North Dart College will be here on Wednesday at 2 o'clock to give a presentation. If you would like to attend, make sure you have signed up on Mrs. Hobbs' door before this Wednesday. Otherwise, you won't be allowed to enter, so make sure to sign up. One week from today is the start of Red Ribbon Week. Do you all have your outfits planned and ready? No. I know I do. Now for your birthdays. We have no local birthdays today, but we would like to wish a very happy birthday to actor Jeff Goldblum and Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future. We hope you have a good day. Starting for your sports, the regular season has now come to a close for volleyball and cross country team, and now both will begin their quest to capture district championships, so good luck. Tomorrow, the ladies will be traveling to Sparta for district volleyball play. The first game will begin at 5, with the second game to fall at 7 p.m. Don't forget, if you haven't already signed up to ride the pep bus and attend the game, you must sign up by noon today on the office door. We need a full student sharing section, so let's fill up that bus. This Saturday, cross-country districts are held at Lamar at the Lamar Country Club. The girls will begin at 10.35 a.m. and the boys will follow at 11.45. That's all for sports, now to this day in history. On this day in history, October 22nd, 1883, New York's original Metropolitan Opera House has its grand opening. 1942, Now Voyager film, directed by Irving Rapper, premieres in New York City. 1976, Rick Barry in San Francisco, begins the longest NBA free throw streak of 60 points. That's it for this thing in history. Now for the local news. For your sick local news today, have you gotten your flu shot yet? Well, I heard. I sure hope you do, because after hearing this story, you might want to rethink. The first flu death was reported on Wednesday in Arkansas. The person that died was between 45 and 64 years old. So if you haven't gotten your flu shot yet, get it scheduled and get it over with. And now for more exciting news, instead of sick, kids or adults with disabilities can now ride bikes through the Ozark Greenway trails. The bikes were made and donated from Friends of Abilities First to Springfield Green County Parks. That's all for your local news. Now back to Cole and Noah. Now for your question of the week. What is the title of the book you are currently reading? And if you're not reading a book, why aren't you? So I am currently reading the 10th book of the Ranger's Apprentice series called The Emperor of Nihonja. The book I'm currently reading is The Lab Girl. The book I'm currently reading is The Practical Guide to Long Range Hunting Cartridges. 
So I hope y'all had a great weekend. Sadly, another school week. Ah, I'm sad about it. I think anybody who comes to school is sad about it. Personally, the book I'm reading is The Darkest Minds. Great book. I love it. What's yours? I'm happy to be here at school, FYI. I enjoy school some of the days, most of the days. I'm reading uh, When We Collided. It's a great novel about uh, some stuff that I'm not going to say. That's all we got. Have a great day. Namaste. Namaste. Now it's time for a run effect of the day. The first bomb dropped on Germany in World War II, heading for the German capital, kills the only elephant in Berlin Zoo.